guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Moore's Clothes. Welcome to another review. It is 95 degrees today and super hot, right in the heart of East Coast summer. Uh, got a package here a couple of days ago and uh, I thought I'd review it for you today. We're gonna unbox it and uh, I believe it's some type of <laughs> device where you put around your neck and uh, it keeps you cool in the hot weather. Uh, I believe it might be some kind of a fan. Uh, I'm not too sure when I, when I got the email explaining it. Um, it is something that I've never seen before, so I'm willing to try it. We're gonna do the unboxing right in front of you. Uh, the box is from Amazon, I believe. There's the receipt. It is from Amazon, right? No, it doesn't say it's from Amazon. Uh, anyway, so it's a uh, Taurus. T-O-R-R-A-S, L3, bladeless neck fan. <laughs> How about that? That's a new one, huh? I've never, I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, it's well packaged. It's almost like, it's almost like somebody bought me an iPhone. Gotta be a scientist just to know how to open this thing. So it's a sleeve. Wow. Really well packaged, huh? They put a lot of thought into it. That's really well felt, uh, thought out, isn't it? Uh, instructions, diagrams. <laughs> Get out of here. We don't need any instructions. Forget about it. Cool. Oh, soft and flexible here, coated rubber, almost like silicone, right around this area only. This is plastic around here, but then once you get the here, it's a flexible um, silicone feel to it. Clean, soft, uh, left and right. <laughs> this is very interesting. I. I don't even see any buttons. That's what you get for not reading the instructions, Henry. Well, <laughs> you can figure it out. Charging cable. That's that's interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how to turn this thing on. So looking around, there is the jack for your uh, micro USB cable to charge it, and then right under it. The white button that says power. Let's turn it on. I don't know if it's fully charged from shipping, but we'll find out. One, we're gonna push, punch it once. Ooh, <laughs> I feel a breeze. Through these holes over here, I feel a breeze. Okay, you click it again. It's at a second. Uh, fastest speed. Can you hear that? That's the third highest speed. And then off. Okay, so three speeds. Two, three. Okay, that's all there is to it, man. Okay. <laughs> Incredible. I've got a breeze all along my head. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what do they think of next? Crazy. Honestly, I am cooler. <laughs> Has a good breeze along my neck and my head. If you look at it right there, there's three LED lights there that tells you the strength of the battery and it's fully charged. There's the inner and I don't feel anything here. You know, like what it looks like earphones. 
I don't feel anything there. I think maybe the fan, the fan is there and it blows out air through these grids here. I feel it. Pretty good flow, top and bottom. Very cool. I'm gonna try it today when I take apart this engine in this heat. <laughs> See if I sweat to death or not. Uh, this thing's still running strong on the highest speed. Three hours. That's pretty amazing. Uh, it helps. <laughs> so this is a Taurus, rechargeable, hands-free, neck fan. It sells for $89.99 on Amazon.com with free shipping. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested. Also, I'll leave a link to the Taurus store and see what other gadgets that they have <laughs> that you're just intrigued about. I'm definitely intrigued about this. I'm going to be starting my engine dismantling project soon. I'm going to wear this completely on speed level three and we'll see how long it lasts. Thanks a lot for joining me on this review of this absolutely new to me neck fan on a hot summer day here in New York. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, I'm Henry from Mowers and Blowers. As a YouTuber, that deals with small engine equipment on a daily basis, I worry about the harmful effects of the 10% ethanol that's in your unleaded gas from your gas station. Here on the East Coast, as winter nears, I think about storing my summer lawn equipment for the winter. Ethanol absorbs moisture, and what it does is it could rust or corrode and clog up your jets in your carburetor. That's why I use Ethanol Safeguard with stabilizers from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Before you store your machines, a little bit of Lucas goes a long way. When you're ready to use your machines again, fire straight up! Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.